I jump on the phone with so many people, sometimes beginners or sometimes people looking to get back into it because they wanna tone up, i.e. lose body fat, gain muscle, get more confidence, more energy. But in an attempt to get back into it, they jump straight into five or six days a week into the gym because they feel like this is necessary. When even though they're going more than they need to, when they're going, they're also doing ineffective workouts. So in this video, I wanna clarify and break down a workout split and program that's gonna help you maximize and see way more muscle and strength gains in less time in the gym. Stay tuned. What's good, YouTube? Coach John back again, repping me on the iron. On this channel, I drop weekly fitness videos that are gonna help you lose fat, build muscle, gain confidence, and gain energy levels. If you're interested in doing that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button now as well. I do you wanna mention that my one-on-one -on -one premium coaching program is currently open with some spots for the new year. If you're interested, you can book your free consultation by clicking beside the apply now link down below and we can jump on the phone and see if we'd be a good fit to work together to get you to your goals in 2020. Also, make sure you follow my Instagram for other exclusive content on that platform. So keep in mind, this is three days a week. I know a lot of people might be turned off by that for the reason I mentioned earlier. They think that five or six days is better, but the reality is three days a week when done correctly and efficiently can help you see 10 times more gains than what 95% of the population does in the gym, regardless of how many days they're working out. So this would be ideal for beginners for sure. If you're a beginner, definitely start here, but it's also gonna work for anybody that's looking to get back into the gym after a bit of a rut or after falling off for a bit, or anybody who's kind of plateaued and isn't too sure about their workout program, this is gonna jumpstart some more gains for you. And just to give you some more comfort on that, I've personally decreased the amount of days that I work out with weights in the gym over the years of lifting, and I've seen more results when doing so. And if you want a video that's going to go in depth and explain why three days a week is better than other high frequency typical splits you see in the gym or online, then you can check this video out right here where I break it all down for you. So the split is three days a week. Ideally, you wanna do something like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. It would be ideal to have a rest day in between, though not necessary. I don't recommend that you do this four days a week because we're gonna be hitting your entire body each workout. Now, don't be alarmed. You might be thinking that this is gonna take a while. These workouts should not take you any more than one hour if done correctly. And the reason that's possible is because we're gonna be focusing on what's going to give you the most amount of bang for your buck or ROI, however you wanna say it, for the time you spend in the gym. That means basic compound exercises. So forget those favorite influencers of yours, complex, constantly changing, uh, complicated workout programs online. Just throw those away because those will give you literally zero gains. Instead, we're going full body, basic compounds that are going to be the same exercises that worked 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago, the same ones that are gonna work 1,000 years from now. So let's go ahead and jump into day one. Now, before you jump into these workouts, as always, I'm gonna recommend that you do some sort of a light warm up. So this could be something like walking uh, on an incline on the treadmill or a stairmaster or something super light and you can include some core work at the beginning like I like to do uh, some shoulder hip or knee mobility exercises but overall this warm-up should not take you any more than 10 minutes you can check out some of the warm-ups I have on the channel if you want some more guidance with that so keep in mind that warm-up should cause you to break a sweat is gonna make sure that your body is actually warmed up I remember when I used to walk on the treadmill for two minutes and think that that was enough it isn't so make sure you break a sweat but don't overexert yourself the point is to just warm up and prepare yourself for the real work ahead. So next what you're gonna do is you're gonna decide whether you wanna start with lower body or upper body. So in the case of this example, in today, we're gonna start with lower body and we're gonna alternate every workout following this. So if we're starting with lower body today, you gotta to understand that for lower body muscle and strength development, there's really only a handful of exercises that are gonna give you all the progress you need. That's gonna be the squat or any variation thereof, deadlifts, any variation of that as well, hip thrusts, and lunges. These are the compounds that are gonna give you all the gains you need. On the upper body side of things, well, we'll get into that in a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna choose two lower body exercises. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna say a front squat and a deadlift, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three sets of every exercise throughout these days. So three sets of the front squat, three sets of the deadlift. Now, we wanna keep these reps between six and 
and 12. However you wanna hit those is up to you. You can do all sets at eight, all sets at 10. What I'm gonna suggest here is start with set one for six reps, set two for eight reps, and set three for 12 reps. That way we get that wide variety of rep ranges and we can improve within each rep range as well. So now we've got the lower body done, we're gonna move into the upper body. Now when it comes to upper body, the basic compounds are broken down as the following. So you've got horizontal pressing, which would be something like bench press or any variation of that. You've got horizontal pulling, which is something like a cable row, barbell row, any variation of that. You've also got vertical pressing, something like overhead press or any sort of shoulder press, and vertical pulling, chin-ups, pull-ups, pull-downs, these types of things fall into that category. So here, we're simply gonna choose two. Now, don't worry, we've got two other days in the week to fill in the rest that you don't hit on this day. So in this case, let's say I choose horizontal press and push just to make sure I hit opposing muscle groups evenly here. I'm gonna start with a bench press, three sets just like the lower body, let's say six, eight, and 12. And then I'm gonna do a cable row as my horizontal pull. Three sets, six, eight, and 12 there as well. Now, if you have time after all this is done, you can add in one to two isolation exercises. These are exercises that are gonna target areas that you prefer or would want to target yourself on your body. So it's gonna vary individual to individual. Let's say my goal is to do shoulders and arm emphasis. So I'm gonna choose a lateral raise for my shoulders and I'm gonna choose a bicep curl for the gains. What you're gonna do for the isolation, again, if you have time or if you're okay with extending the time, or do two sets per exercise and keep it between eight to 12 reps per set. So that's pretty much it for day one. Make sure you cool down, stretch on your own time whenever you need to. And that's it, you have completed day one. Now let's move on to day two. Like I mentioned before, we're gonna alternate on what we start with day to day. This is gonna help keep things fresh. It's gonna make sure that we place an even emphasis on both the upper and lower body throughout the weeks to come. So let's start with upper body. Now I've already done the two upper body exercises from the last time. I'm gonna start with a vertical press followed by a vertical pull. So let's say an overhead press followed by a uh, lat pull down for example or an assisted pull up if you will. So from here we're gonna keep the same three sets. You can change up the reps if you want or you can keep the reps the same as they are different exercises anyways. After that, I'm gonna move into lower body. Again, I want a couple different exercises from the first one, so let's say I'm gonna go with a hip thrust, a barbell hip thrust, as well as lunges. Again, the three sets remain the same. If I've got time, I'll add one to two isolation. You can choose a core exercise, especially if you're not doing core at the beginning of the workout for your warm up. Do a core exercise, let's say a leg raise, as well as maybe a calf raise in this case. That's day two, nice and simple. Let's move on to day three. Day three, we're gonna start back again with lower body. So I would choose two different exercises. Again, just variations of the first workout. So instead of a front squat, let's do back squat and let's do a stiff-legged deadlift instead of a regular deadlift from day one. So we're gonna keep sets the same, reps you can vary or keep those the same as well. Then from there, we go into the upper body. I'm gonna do variations again of day one. So instead of a flat bench, I'll do a incline bench, let's say with dumbbells and I'll do maybe a horizontal or a uh, diagonal pull of sorts like a machine diagonal pull that works great same set same reps choose your isolation if you got time and if you want to and you're all good so the isolation let's just say for the sake of example might be tricep push down and a hamstring curl like I said this is just an example though I'll be honest if you follow the exact work that I just gave you it would be huge for the amount of progress you can see given a few things one is that you actually track your workouts okay you need to track your workouts so you can make sure you're progressing from workout to workout. If you're not tracking, you're leaving tons of progress on the table regardless of the split you do. The second is proper progression. I've got two videos on both of those topics. For the progression video, click right here and you can see exactly how to progress when you're recording your weights. As I mentioned, you can alternate this however you'd like so long as you're focusing on the basic compounds for the most part, improving upon those, and of course hitting the full body three days a week. Like I said, I don't recommend four. Make sure you take the rest throughout the week to recover from this. 
and get back at it hard again the next week. And also, like I mentioned, you can vary reps however you want. You can even do uh, day one, all sixes, day two, all eight reps, and day three, all 12 reps. It's entirely up to you in that regard. So that's it for this one. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you're gonna get started on it. Comment below if you are. Also comment below any other ideas you've got for the channel. I look forward to your transformation this year. Let's get to it. Let's crush it. Any questions, let me know. Make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.